Happy Saturday from the fabulous Florida Keys. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty. This is my morning market MLS video I do every day right about this time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys that have come on the market in the last 24 hours. If you follow this video every day, you'll be ahead of most buyers. I find most buyers wait for a home to come on to Zillow before they inquire about it. And the problem they run into is by the time Zillow puts a house live online, it's been on the multiple listing service a couple days and all the good deals are already under contract. If you watch this video every day, you can call me that same day. I'll get you inside the house to take a look. If you like what you see, we can write up a contract and have you under contract on the property before most buyers ever even knew the home was for sale. You can also get a much more detailed description of these listings if you follow my blog. It's keywestinvesting.com. I'll put the web address in the link below, but in the description below, I'm sorry. But it's keywestinvesting.com. There'll be a lot more details of the homes, the inside and the outside, room dimensions, any special features or unique features the home may have. If it happens to be waterfront, it happens to have a pool, it'll have a picture of the water view, a picture of the pool, a picture of the boat dock edge. It's just a lot more information that I can cram into a quick few minute YouTube video. And if I had to give you all that information here on the video, I'd be rambling on for hours. And I'm sure you don't want to hear that. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up like symbol down below. And also, if you want to see more videos of this nature and keep current with the Florida Keys real estate market, see what's being sold at what prices, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a video of this nature every day. Make sure you watch to the end of the video. I'm running a special right now where I will contribute $1,000 of my commission to go right towards your closing costs. But you have to wait to the end of the video before you get that information. We have a pretty busy day today. We have 10 new listings that have come on the market between Big Pine Key and Key West to talk about. Before I give you the information on these homes for sale, the state of Florida's legal department makes me cover the bordering stuff. The information I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. I'm not accepting any responsibility for any of these listings. I'm not claiming any of these listings to be my own listings. And I'm not accepting any responsibility if there's any inaccuracies in the information I give you. I'm simply reading it to you from the Multiple Listing Service. Every now and then I'll throw in my opinion, but when I do, I will very clearly say, you know, in my opinion, and then I'll continue with what I was going to say. The first house we have is on a small lane called Love Lane. It's in Old Town. For those of you familiar with Key West, it runs from Southern Street to Fleming Street. This is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, 1,094-square-foot house. It's being offered at $1,650,000, which is a great price for that location. Then we go to Rose Street, which is down by the beach. There's a two bedroom, one bathroom, 967 square feet house. This one's being offered $995,000. It's a great location, but I would want to see another bathroom in there. And with only 967 square feet, you'd have to get really creative with your architect to make a bathroom fit in there and still look good. Then we go to Washington Street in Key West's Midtown neighborhood. We have a three bedroom, four bathroom, 1,681 square foot house. This one's being offered at $3,100,000. And in Key West's Newtown neighborhood in a condo complex called Solana Village, we have a one bedroom, one bathroom, 528 square foot condo. That one's being offered at $449,000. This is one that I would shy away from. It seems like a great idea to you know, get your own house to that price in Key West, but it also comes with an $850, $850 a month HOA fee. You know, so all of a sudden, your mortgage payment or your monthly payment goes way up and you don't have that cheap house in Key West that you thought you had. Then also in Key West's Newtown neighborhood on Trinidad Drive, there's a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,380 square foot house. That one's being offered at $969,000. That's another one that I would stay away from just because that neighborhood when we have heavy rain at a high tide tends to flood. 
So I'd stay away from that one, but there, that's just my opinion. <clears throat> then we go up to Big Carpet Key to Avenue E. There's a two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,499 square foot. The Monroe County tax record is calling it a single family home, but I'll just say there are a lot of mobile homes in that area. And if you look at the photos, if you check out my blog, keywestinvesting.com, you'll see it looks an awful lot like a mobile home. It's being offered at $889,000. It's an older ground level house. I think that was a little overpriced myself. Then we go to Stock Island on College Road in the condo complex called the Sunset Marina. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,171 square foot condo being offered at $1,475,000. The Sunset Marina condo complex itself is a beautiful area, great condos. You overlook the marina. The units do not come with the boat slip, but the boat slips are for sale, and they have a full-service marina there, ship store, dock master, fuel dock, bait store, everything you could possibly want, and then the other shoe drops, the negatives. Depending on which side of the condo complex you're on, you're either overlooking the dump or you're overlooking the jail. So at $1,475,000, I wouldn't want either of those views. Then on Old State Road 4A on Sugarloaf Key, we have a very large house on a very large lot. It's a six bedroom, six bathroom, 5,208 5, square foot house. It's on a little over two and a half acres of land, but a lot of it's unbuildable mangrove, wetland, basically marshland. But if you want privacy, this house is very private. It's out in the middle of nowhere. You could drive by it a thousand times and never even know it's there. If you want a large house, you've got it here. It's right on the direct open water with beautiful views. The boating isn't the greatest. You get a shallow draft boat in there, but you're not going to get a big boat in there by any means. That being said, being offered at $7,499,000, I just feel it's very overpriced. But again, that's just my opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. Then we go to DeBloom Road on Little Torch Key in a subdivision called Jolly Roger Estates. Jolly Roger Estates is a very desirable subdivision. It's in a great boating area. You have deep water boating. You're on the ocean side, so there's no bridges to wander. Right in the canal system, there's a full service marina with the fuel dock, ship store, bait store. So you get everything you want for your day in the water before you even leave the canal system. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 2,371 square foot house being offered at $1,150,000, which is a really low price for a house that size in that neighborhood. Definitely you'd want to jump on that one. Then on Pelican Lane in Big Pine Key, the last house, it's a three bedroom, four bathroom, 1,310 square foot house. It's on what they call, you'll see sometimes the term swimming canal, or you'll also see the term plugged canal. That means it's on a canal, just like a regular canal front home, except they built the dam at the end of the canal, so you can't get a boat in or out. So you have the canal view. You can kayak in the canal, swim in the canal, paddleboard in the canal, but you'll never get a boat in there. At $759,000, there's a lot of other homes in Big Pine Key that are on a real canal with boating that you can get. Maybe not quite as big as this home, but I would rather have a smaller house on a canal with boating than a bigger house on a plugged canal. Also, the plugged canals, they're much more difficult to resell. They don't keep the resale value or appreciate like a boating water canal does. And that's the end of today's listings. If you want to see any of these great homes or any home anywhere in the Florida Keys, give me a call at 305-731-731. 0501. Now, as promised, my offer to contribute $1,000 of my commission to go right towards your closing costs. If you buy or sell any home with me anywhere in the Florida Keys between now and June 30th of this year, I will contribute $1,000 of my commission to go towards your closing costs. I know we're getting closer to June 30th, so I'm going to change that, that we don't have to close by June 30th. If you're selling, the listing agreement just has to be signed by June 30th. If you're buying, the contract for purchase and sale just has to be signed by June 30th. 
And then we can close after that and I will still honor that thousand dollar commitment to pay towards your closing costs. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to showing you homes in the fabulous Florida Keys. And more so, I look forward to making you my neighbor. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty.